Hi children, today we will be learning the lesson numbers up to 200. In your previous class, you have learned to build numbers of one digit and two digit. But today, we are learning to build numbers of three digit and we will also be learning about the number names, the numbers that come in between, before and after and how to build a three digit number. Let us begin with building numbers. Now before I start, let us represent these numbers with cubes or blocks. I have one cube here. This one cube represents as one. This one cube represents as one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 cubes here. So these 10 cubes added together gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When I add all these 1 cubes together, I will be getting the number as 10. So when this 1 cube is added up, it gives us a 10. This is a 10 block. This is known as a tens block. When we have 10 times 1s, it becomes 1 10. 10 ones is equal to 1 10 like you have seen here. 10 ones is equal to 1 10. Similarly, let us move further. I have this 10 block. How, which block is this? This is known as a 10's block. I have here 1 10 block. So this is 10. I have 2 10 blocks. This is 20. Now it is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and now when I add 10 more to 90, I will be getting the number as 100. How many 10 blocks do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Let us represent this flat box as 100. In this there are 101 cubes and 10 times 10 blocks. So this flat blo box will be representing as a 100 block to us. Now 10 times 10 is equal to 100. 10 tens is equal to 100. Now I have a 100 block here. Now, with that, I will be adding one more 100 block. So, 100 block plus one more 100 block will give me 200. Yes, I have 1 plus 1. So, I will be having here 200 block. Now, let us see few more example and build the numbers. This cube represents as 1. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 10 times 1 is equal to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times 1 is equal to 10. So this block will be representing as 10 in our further examples. And hundreds. 10 times 10 is 100. 
so this block is representing as a hundred block for us in our further examples now let us move and check few examples and find out how to build three digit numbers here i already have few blocks let us find out the answers in this first i have one 100 block yes so this becomes 100 and plus that to adding to that i have 1 2 and 3 3 times 10 is 30 so 130 plus i have 1 2 3 4 and 5 i have 5 ones here 5 ones is 5 so i have 130 plus 5 my answer will be 100 35 let us check the next example i have 101 block to that i will be adding 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 i am adding 6 tens 6 tens is 60 plus 1 2 and 3 so 3 ones is equal to 3 163 let us check what the answer is yes the answer is 160 times tens is 60 and three ones so it is 163 very good let us move for a few more examples let us do this quickly now i have one hundred block and i have one two three four five six seven eight eight ten block plus two one block so my answer will be 182 next i have one time 100 block and two ten blocks 120 plus one two three four 124 yes and then I have 101 block and I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 times 10 block and I have 1 and 2 ones cube. So it is 142. So I hope you have learnt how to build numbers. Now let us check out what are before, in between and after numbers. To begin with, I have a number here. The number here is 1, 2, 8. When we are reading this, it is 128. I have a number here, 128. Now, what is the before number? The before number is the number which comes right before this. What is the number which comes right before 128? Yes, it is 128. Seven. Now, what is the number that comes after 128? Let us check out. The number is 129. So, 128 is the between number of 127 and 129. This becomes the between number. The number that comes right before it is known as the before number and the number that comes right after 128 is known as the after number. Let us see one more example here. I have 160. So the number right before 160 is 159 and the number right after 160 is 100. 61 so 160 is the between number of 159 and 161 when you have to find the before number we just take away one from the given number that is 160 minus 1 gives us 159 and when you have to find the after number 
of the given number you will be adding 1 to this that is 160 plus 1 gives us 161. Let us check one more example here. I have 199. So the number before this is yes very good it is 198 and the number right after 199 is any guesses very good it is 200 so now here we learned the numbers before between and after let us move further and see the number names what is a number name the numerals written in word is called number name the numbers which are given to us which we write in words are known as number names how to write the number name of the given digit so for that we have to see the examples and learn to write the number name of three digit numbers first let us see what number is here for us we have 165 this is a three digit number now how are we going to write the number name of a three digit number okay so in three digit number the number name is divided into two parts it is divided into two parts first is the hundreds part and the second part consists of tens and ones the second part consists of what tens and ones so this three digit number is divided into two parts when we are reading it as a number name or when we are writing it as a number name here and before starting to write any number name we always write the place value on top of the given number we have to always write the place value that is ones tens and hundreds here as we have three digit we will be writing as ones tens and hundreds when we are writing or reading the number name we will always start from hundred here now in hundred place i have one so how many hundreds do i have here i have one hundred so I will be reading this as 100 and the second part is consisting of two numbers that is 60 and 5. I will be reading this two digits together as 65. Now when I have to read all these numbers together I will be reading this as 165. Now let us move further and see few more examples and learn. Always write the place value of the given number. We have to always write the place value. Now here I have a number 119. So I will be writing ones, tens, hundred. And these numbers are divided into two parts. One is the hundred part and the second part consists of tens and ones now first how many hundreds do i have here i have 100 and how many tens do i have here i have 110 and how many ones do i have here i have nine ones so 100 10 ones is 10 and nine ones is nine so 10 plus 9 is 19 so 119 next i have 137 i will be reading this as 100 and then these two digits together as 37 137 now let us go to the next digit here how many hundreds do i have i have 100 here how many tens do i have here i have zero that is i don't have any 10 here and once I have seven ones here. So how are we going to read this number? This becomes 100. Are we going to read this as zero tens? No. When there is a zero in any place, 
we will not be reading it as zero there we will just be leaving that place now i have 100 and 7 this becomes 7 in place of once i have 7 so this is 107 107 i hope you have learned to write the number name of three digit numbers now let us see how to form numerals of the given number names i have the number name as 175 what is the number name it is 175 so how are you going to write the number for this always write the first place value of it so i have 100 i have seven tens and i have five ones so i will be writing ones tens hundreds first then i'll be seeing how many hundreds do i have here i have 100 so i will be writing one in place of 100 and how many tens do i have here i have 70 70 means 7 times 10 that is in tens place i am going to write as 7 because i have 70 here so 70 is 7 times tens in place of tens the number is 7 and i have how many ones here i have 5 ones so in place of ones i'll be writing as 5 now let us go further and see few more number names to form as numbers i have 150 so i will be writing as one time 100 and in tens place i will be writing as five and as there is no ones i will be writing it as zero so 150 next we have 199 so how many hundreds do i have here yes one and how many tens very good because it is 90 i have nine tens here and how many ones do i have here nine ones so my number will be 199 one in hundreds place nine in tens place and nine again in ones place here i have as 200 now i don't have any tens and i don't have any ones here so how many hundreds do i have here i have 200 so in place of 100 i will be writing as 2 and there is no tens so i will be writing as 0 and there is no ones so again here i will be writing as 0 so this digit is as number known as 200 let us see the next number name here we have 100 8 how many hundreds do we have here we have 100 and do we have any tens here no there is no tens here and how many ones do we have we have eight ones so how are we going to write this we will be writing this as one in hundreds place zero in tens place and eight in ones place so this will be read as 108 now I hope you all have understood the topics what I have covered up today. What all did we learn today? We learned building numbers that is building three digit numbers before, in between and after numbers. We also learned number names and we learned to write numeral form that is when we have a number name how to write it in the number form i hope you have understood all these topics and you have enjoyed learning math today